What is equipment financing? We get asked this question all the time. Equipment financing is just a way to purchase equipment that's a little bit more efficient and effective than getting a loan or working capital or certainly using a line of credit. And it secures the equipment, meaning if for whatever reason you were to default or, or miss a couple of payments, they would collect the equipment that was purchased. Right, so the way equipment financing works is you find a piece of equipment, it could be new, it could be used, and you submit that with six months banks, an application, tax return. Uh, if it is a larger piece of equipment, so equipment over 100,000, uh, you might have to send in a little bit more documents. But long story short, you send everything in, you get an approval, and then the underwriter or the lender will pay the vendor for the equipment the vendor delivers the equipment to you, and then you pay the lender back in monthly installments. That's equipment financing in a nutshell, and now I'll give you like the ins and outs of it. Uh, one, you don't want to take short-term financing and use it to buy equipment when you can finance it over three to five years. Right? Most equipment uh, loans will be anywhere from three to five years, depending on if it's new or used, and depending on your credit score. What happens if you're a startup? Well, if you're a startup, you can qualify for equipment financing if you have over 700 credit and you own a home. If not, then you would have to use a term loan or one of the other programs to finance that equipment. The newer the equipment is, or the more valuable it is, the easier it is to finance. When you go and you have older equipment or used equipment, uh, let's say a truck, a truck that's over 10 years old is harder to finance. Uh, if it's a used piece of equipment and it doesn't hold a lot of value, that's harder to finance. So typically, you need equipment that you know, has value. Even if it's restaurant equipment, um, that, you know, it could be a hood, it could be a stove, a, a grill, a griddle. Uh, it could even be a food truck. That equipment has value and you can use equipment financing to purchase that. Why use equipment financing? Well, it's easier and quicker than going and getting an SBA loan and also it's not tying up any other lines of financing. So equipment financing is only used for equipment. What's the process of getting equipment financing? It's simple. It's a, like I said, one page application, six months business bank statements, the invoice for the piece of equipment, or if it's used, it would be a purchase and sale agreement. Uh, if it's a, a used piece, you're gonna need pictures, a VIN, make, model, year, hours, uh, whatever else that would identify that piece of equipment. And then depending on, again, the amount that you're asking to be financed, anything over typically 100 or 200,000, you're gonna need financials and tax returns. If it's under 100, it's usually very quick and very easy. And most rates start you know, in, this, in the high single digits and go up from there based on your credit, your time in business, and your cash flow. And a lot of times, businesses don't understand the benefit of this, but here's, the, here's a little trick. If, for whatever reason you try to finance a piece of equipment and you have great credit and a great business and they come back and say you know we're not going to finance it there's a reason the reason is the equipment probably isn't worth the price that you're paying and you should probably find a different piece of equipment sometimes you have to put money down sometimes you don't a lot of times the kind of equipment financing we've done is no money down and you can finance it for five years and, and hopefully it's, you have great credit and the rates are in the single digits. Basically, how long does it take to apply for equipment financing? That's another question we're always asked. It usually only takes three to five business days, right? We can usually get an approval in 24 to 48 hours and then to complete the transaction. Now, equipment financing is different than leasing. And when you finance a piece of equipment, you own that piece of equipment when it's all pay, paid for. Right, Basically, the bank is gonna have a title, hold title, and have a lien on the equipment until it's paid off. Once it's paid off, that piece of equipment is yours. With a lease, you're leasing it, right? So that means at some point it's gotta be returned or you have to lease it again or you have to buy out that lease in order for you to own that piece of equipment. If you have any questions or you're looking into getting equipment financing, please don't hesitate to give us a call or contact us at Integrated Business Financing. Thank you, I'll see you on the next training.